What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the Tutors DLC, and in this video, we'll be customizing the last <laughs> DLC vehicle for day one content. I've been putting out these videos all day for you guys. Um, and this was the uh, tenth one. I saved this one for last because I figured um, it wouldn't be as desirable as the other vehicles first. So try to get the other ones out first. But anyways, this video, the Volker Warner HKR, basically a pickup truck car thing version of the uh the original warner so kind of interesting um dollars trade price 1.2 million uh buy it now price so basically a million dollars for this thing which i think is absolutely ridiculous but <laughs> those are the prices these days uh for these new dlc vehicles all right exit out of that so here it is i already bought it you see all the other cars in the background that i've already customized literally um, all nine of them, and then the tenth one being the one we haven't done yet. Definitely been a crazy day for sure. Um, very impressed overall with this update. Um, and we still have seven drip feed vehicles that will be coming, so this is not the last one. <laughs> so, let's walk around a little bit. Back end here, very cool. So you might be wondering, how did Rockstar come up with the idea for a Warner pickup car thing? Well, this is inspired by a car in real life, believe it or not. Um, and the vehicle is called the Datsun Sunny Truck Hakotora. Um, it's pretty much a custom-made uh, version of the Datsun Sunny Truck. It's very intricate and interesting the way they did that. Um, very different. I'm not really sure who really wanted this for this DLC. Um, I don't think it's going to be too popular, but I mean, it is kind of unique, you got to admit that. Um, but overall, I think I would have preferred, you know, the 10th vehicle slot for something else. Modern Camaro, cough, cough, sad face, but... <laughs> Volker Warren or pickup car it is. Alright, let's take a look at the customization. Back it up, back it up backing up oh that's right that's the funny thing too this thing is in the sedans class <laughs> i forgot about that yeah so the pickup car is in the sedans class um yeah more rockstar logic <laughs> armor brakes bumpers you have bumper delete now very similar options here to the regular warner um but there's some extra ones mixed in here very cool options here all right so i think i'm gonna do the hmm not sure if I think I should do the bumper delete maybe or is there like a slim tough choice you know what let's do the this one's kinda cool the retro bumper kinda simple this one has the fog lights but yeah let's do the retro bumper it looks a little ugly, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what? Let's do the uh, let's do the bumper delete completely because the bumper on this thing just just too big. <laughs> All right, rear bumpers. We have okay. Rear bumpers is drift charms. <laughs> okay. Oh, might as well throw one on there. Why not? Wait. Also includes a tow hook. Oh yeah, tow hook and that. <laughs> nice. Okay. Engine. Engine block. Love the way the hood on the Warner opens, or should I say the Warner HKR? <laughs> right there. Um, hmm. I think we'll do we'll do polished valve cover, a cam cover. See that there. All those options. No exposed pulleys on this one, surprisingly. Um, I guess we'll do the do the carbon. I guess strut brace. The options there. We'll do a titanium, tension tunes, intercoolers. You have all the different intercoolers there. I think we'll do the intercooler with the small NS logo. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Exhaust. You have big bore exhaust, angled blast pipes, small bore, dual pipes. Double giant double exhaust, and then the side mounted on both sides. Oh my gosh! All right, I think I'm leaning towards the um, the small big bore. Yeah, small big bore it is. Fenders, you have primary arches, and then you have carbon arches. Uh, now the wheel fitment 
you know, it's uh, questionable. <laughs> but the one in real life does have, um, you know, arches on it which make it look really cool. And the wheels come out with it. Um, I don't understand how Rockstar can't get this right. I'm not sure if it's, you know, not possible for them to code that into the game or something. But it'd be really nice if they could do that. Um, I, I guess we'll skip out on this because I that wheel fitment is atrocious <laughs> and even then the stock wheel fitment isn't too great but this doesn't really help at all it just makes it worse all right grill you have painted grill secondary and then carbon Ooh, I like the carbon that's nice headlight covers okay hood catches if you want that okay hood see-through vanity looking hood Carbon painted, oh the pointed hood, that's right, forgot about that one. You have a stripped down hood, small vented, ooh I like that one, that's subtle, I like that. Large vented, and this looks like a charger hood, <laughs> it's like a 69 Dodge Charger hood. <laughs> um, and you got the tuner hood, alright, definitely this one, the small vented hood, that is really nice. The lines down the hood, that's awesome. Okay. Interior, you have dash. Oh, look, we got a generic muscle car interior in here. Nice. You got street interior. Um, oh, wow. This this removes everything back here. What is this? What is this texture quality here? Is that clipping through? You guys are seeing this, right? What is. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's an issue. Oh, wait a minute. One of these options does solve that. Interesting. Okay. Well, so. You have race interior, um, you have race interior with stripped dash, which is probably the one I'm going to do. Uh, you got stripped interior, removes the entire headliner, flock dash, and then carbon dash. Alright, we'll do the race interior with the stripped dash. Dials, get the single boost gauge tack, I like that. Uh, Alright, single tack. Doors. You got all the different variations here. Um, should we do custom doors on this? Hmm. I feel like we should, because the, the door panel on this is pretty ugly anyways. <laughs> it doesn't really look too great. But then again, we do have a full interior, so... Hmm. Carbon. You know what, let's do the carbon door panel with the handle, okay? Seats. Get all different backing, different seats there. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the sports seats with the carbon rear steering wheel. Got the Volker steering wheel. Oh wait a minute, the logo does transfer for some of these. Look at that, that's nice. Ooh, this one with the red line, and there's a lot of carbon ones too. I like I like this one. This is nice. Do that. Roll cage. A roll cage for this? Where's the roll cage? Oh wow, it's really. Oh, there it is. That does the whole truck. Does it go down or something? What is? Is that just the camera? Oh yeah, that, that's just the camera. It make it forces the camera down a bit. Or is that an illusion? Yeah, it's just the camera. I think. Yeah, just the camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Padded, full, different variations of the roll cage there. I like the half cage, just like towards the back. Very simple. It kind of fills in that area too. Let's do the half cage. Uh, it's got the... Do that. Lights. Leave the stock yellow. Liveries. You got racing stripes. Racing alternate. Shopping list. Shopping list in white. I don't think it puts anything back here. Oh, it does. Look at that. It puts it back here too. It kind of goes over the handle a little bit. <laughs> we got the tree pedals. Okay. Got the arrow stripes. This one's pretty cool. Got the auto exotic waves. Pretty nice. Got the HKR racer. Alternate. Classic Warner. Classic Volker. Redwood. Very cool. Um. I don't know if I'm feeling any of these, to be honest. Um, hmm. And the shopping list one is so simple. 
it looks good, but it's like <laughs> really simple. I'm not sure how this livery would look with the build I want to do. I feel it's a little a little too much. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's do the let's do the shopping list. And see how it looks with the build I'm doing. All right, got that mirrors. All the options there. I think we'll do the secondary missile mirrors, I guess. Or let's we'll do the plastic so the color doesn't transfer over. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, the ones on the actual truck are. They look. The ones on the actual truck are identical to the stock ones. I'm just going to keep the stock ones. Uh, plates. I guess I'll throw my JDM plate on there. go respray all right so for this I'm going to do a nice metallic gray we're gonna go dark steel I don't think we should do the darker one black steel ice white pearl it'll look a lot better once we get it out of the sunlight and then we'll do secondary is going to be uh, what do we have something changing in here oh the interior stitching and the roll cage. I guess we'll do red. Torino red. Trim color is the seats. And okay, just the seats. Oh, that's right, because we took out the door panel. Okay, we'll do that red, I guess. Accent color. And the brake calipers on this one doesn't change. Oh, it does. It's linked to your, it's linked to your uh, roll cage and stuff, and the interior stitching. Very cool. All right. Well, we did red anyway, so I guess that worked out pretty well. The Kremlin goes on the side of the door. All right. Roof scoops. Roof scoops on a pickup car thing. I, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Splitters. You got the small splitter, medium. Carbon medium, large. Okay. I'm not sure why there's no version of a small one in carbon <laughs> and it's linked to your secondary or your accent color. So that's kind of annoying why they did that. Um, I guess carbon medium it is, even though I wanted the smaller one. Spoiler, boot lip spoiler, I like that. Medium, carbon spoiler, and it puts. <laughs> They literally put something on the bed just to put a spoiler there. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Oh my gosh. Okay. I guess the lip spoiler. Sun strips, if you like sun strips, the options there. Suspension, definitely gonna slam it. Transmission, trunk. Oh wow, outer cage different cages. Why are all these linked to the accent color? That's really annoying. <laughs> that's really that's really annoying. Um, hmm. I don't know why they did that. That's strange. I guess I'm not putting anything there. Uh, turbo, yes. Wheels. Alright, so for this one I'm going to do the street category. We're gonna put the the Endo V4 dished looks super good on this car. A uh, wheel color, I think we're gonna go for the the gray to match. Um, or I will stick in the dark copper to kind of set it off a little bit. Be a dark ivory. Hmm, or dark brown. Dark copper is a bit too bright. Yeah, the dark ivory. I like that. That's nice. Uh, tire design. We'll do the atomic tire lettering. And kind of like the real one. I think it looks pretty cool. Do the Fukuru or the atomic. Do the Fukuru. And. Do, do, do. Windows. Black them out, I guess. Yep. And let's see how those fenders look now. Now that we have everything on this thing. Yeah, the carbon definitely makes it look a bit better, but again the fitment is just <laughs> fitment's just atrocious. Especially it's just 
it's, it's a big yikes. I mean, it looks a little better on the rear, I think, since the since it's the back wheel's tucked now. It looks a little a little better, but the front, oof. <laughs> okay, keep it the way it is. Exit. Right, rev it up a bit. Wow. Kind of similar to the LG Retro a little bit. Sorry. All right, floor it. This thing is in the sedans class. Oh, wow, <laughs> it did that by itself the drift thing. <laughs> This thing, this thing likes to drift. Not very quick. It takes a bit to get going, even fully upgraded. What's this? Oh my god, this AI literally braked and then accelerated to purposely hit me. <laughs> oh, I love the traffic in this game. Yeah, it's not fast. <laughs> but... Drift it a little bit. Mid drive it. It's cool. You know, something unique and different. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping this. I think I might sell this one eventually. I'm not sure. But it's it, it's cool. Okay. Do the this one. Oh, this one. This one was already on lowered. It, it did that again. So that's default. That's that's the right height we were at, and then this is lowered. Okay. All right, vehicle doors all. Love the way this hood opens on this. Very cool. Got the polish with the carbon interior there. Yeah, I'm glad I chose the carbon uh, door panels because <laughs> this interior is pretty yikes. <laughs> Very, very cool. I like the way this came out. Very happy with it. Vehicle doors, none. And then we'll lower it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.